guy's gonna go from for some next level shit. Gonna do a combination of ground and air. Um, hoping this is gonna work, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, you know, I figured why the fuck not give it a go. It's I don't have bounty hunter. Uh, oh, I obviously I do have bounty hunter, but I'm not gonna be using it in this uh, situation. So I hope you guys really really enjoy. Um, I'm not gonna start off like I just did there. I think I fucked up. Oh no, no, this is only the first first one, so that should be all good. So I'm just gonna drop hive on the railgun and just take out a couple of things because they they don't really do a lot of damage to the hive uh, drones. So from here, I'm just gonna go all in. <clears throat> As I think I don't really need to worry too much because I've got the hives distracting absolutely everything. It's very nice. So it's just going to be just like that. Uh, I'm just going to lead with the hives, the hive drones in front, and they're just going to absorb everything, and that should be free repair there. Now it's going to get harder as the, as as it progresses. Um, I think. I think it's going to be a free repair. I'm going to try my best to make a free repair. And I honestly think destroy is probably a bit of a waste there. I might stop the video and take the destroy out. I think it's too slow. And it's it, it was there. I did a couple of tests with Adam and all that. And it just wasn't working. Uh, so I'll be right back. I'll just uh, take the destroy out and add a bit more light bringers. Because I think AoE splash is a lot more important at this point in time. Alrighty. So I did some adjustments to that too. Um, I put a lot more light bringers in as I wanted more AoE splash. Um, I took Sarkis out and everything else. I'm going to rely on the Hive uh, to create the drones to absorb the chain damage. And this should be a quick way of doing it. But I will be using Shocks plus um, a couple of the Dervishes. So I'll just show you what I mean. I'm going to get this rolling. We'll just do, I'm going to do random shots where I feel there's a lot of condensed. Hunters, because we're going to dervish in first, which I, I don't know, I just feel like doing that. Probably to take out the rail guns, because I'm going to be more ground based. So I'm going to take Ruby off. I'm going to drop a one dervish down the bottom here. I'm going I'm to keep one up the top. And I'm going to send this dervish in first. And then I'm going to switch over to Ruby. Just, Ruby should have went on there. I should have hit R, but anyway. <coughs> It's a lot more skilled this is. So I'm obviously going to take... Come on, why is that not working? I'm obviously going to take a lot of um, anti-air out first, just so I can get in there. And this is just more or less going to be um, about allowing, allowing you a chance to get in with the ground. So I'm going to use from here, now that I've cleared it, I'm going to use my ground. But I'm going to lead with the um, Devon and the Hive. The Hive is going to sit there for at least two shots, maybe just maybe one shot before you hit Ruby. And because I've got the shock on, um, I think I think this should work. So here we go. Just going to do Ruby from here now, and it's a lot more complicated, but I think I think it's uh, it's going to work wonders. So I know this is only the first, uh, well, you know, the first two bases, but I'm already confident. I'm already liking this. We're we're getting the shock down on the main damage sources, and uh, we're eating up this base pretty quick. It's definitely not the fastest way, but if you don't have a lot of echoes, this is why I'm doing this. It's just uh, another way of doing this base, another way of looking at it from different eyes. And we'll see what happens. Hi. Hi. Oh, you got... Yeah. No, I'm good, thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. New toy, is it? New toy? Tap. There you go. Good boy. Alright, so... We'll try this again. Um, on the level 4, obviously, not the level 3. Challenge 3. 
and I'm just doing this is going to be an update. Um, got a dervish down here with uh, Ruby off, and I'm just going to shot that while I'm setting up. From here, I'm going to hit as soon as this lands. I'm going to hit Ruby, and I'm going to focus on the, uh, sending these straight off, and this one's going to go straight off there. So this is kind of for more than more experienced players that have like or a quick quick finger or quick uh, reflexes, just like that. So if you drunk, this is probably not the greatest idea. <laughs> um, so like I, I've just essentially just cleared that a lot more faster. You're back again, boy. What's up? Uh, I'm thinking about getting a few more of these. Uh, I think I think they have potential. We don't know exactly what they're going to be producing for their components yet, and I'm hoping it's not so much speed based like everyone's predicting or hopes. I think I think complete tankiness uh, would be essential if they just go full tanky with uh, one damage one damage um, component would be perfect. I reckon that's just my opinion, but anyway. Ah, just squeeze the seat. So he's got a uh, ice cream. Ice cream scoop. Squeeze that. See? Ta, ah, I'll take that. Thank you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'll oh, just finish this. I've only got two more bases to go. It won't take long. Alright, so challenge four. Uh, with this idea, I'm going to do the same thing with the dervish. Clear what I can. I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to try and take out as much ground as I can. Or, oh, I mean, sorry, anti-ground platforms as I can. Uh, with the dervish, and just try and make it as minimal repair as I can for the dervish, dervish or my air. Because um, I, 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 I did notice my echoes were taking a lot of damage. They're not level 20, they're only levels 18 at the point in time. This point in time. So obviously I'm going to take a lot more damage than they would if they were level 20. Yeah. Alright, um, not going to worry too much about the shock, so I'm just going to do that again. One more shock here, take Ruby off. And I'm going to try and bring one Dervish all the way around that side. And this one's going to go straight up the, the, the uh, left side. West side. One sec, boy. One sec, please, please. So let's try that. Then I click the ruby on. I wanted to go that way, not that way. But anyway, that'll work. I'm gonna take this one back down. Double that one back. Kind of stuffed up there, a little bit distracted, but I think that's I don't really need to take all that out. I'm gonna I'm gonna just remove them. That's all anti-air. It's not really a worry. If I clear, if I shock most of it and then take the ground out, that's probably a better idea. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. This is just all testing. Um, what that there? I'm just going to shock the railgun just to be safe. We'll bring in the tunes. We'll start setting up. I think the idea was a bit better if I just went all the way across with that one. I had the ruby on first, then went all the way across, and then set up. Like, I did that a bit wrong there. My bad, guys. Um, Alright, so I need to get the, uh, was it Devon? Devon in, and I'm going to get one shot off there. And of course you can, oh, I kind of stopped up. Didn't even look at that. Took took I took a shot there when I shouldn't have. I have way too much units to take shots here. That's my bad, my bad. Very distracting. Alright, I'm going to run up the... Um, Drones, the decoys, drones, whatever you want to call them, and need to get, there we go, need to get at least a couple, so all you got to do really is just like, just get the shock down on them, and, that, and that's it, like, honestly, if, if it wasn't my first time trying this, uh, with this setup, I, I think this is actually going to be pre-repair, and it is a good way of doing it without, um, you know, echoes, and honestly, I think you could do it with. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the next one without the dervish. I, I think it's very doable, and very very. It can be very fast. Just to use the ground, 
with this uh, this turn. I think this turn might have a lot like a lot more potential than I'm giving it. So I cleared that pretty quick. Uh, well, almost. <laughs> Not over yet. I might do a speed run, actually. Because um, the best I've done so far is 8 minutes doing tactics from the previous video. So I think, I think overall I can beat that and I get it down to maybe 5 minutes for the whole main track. Ah, uh, sorry, for the whole challenge track. I think I think this method's gonna work more with less repair. If you don't make mistakes. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a challenge five coming right up. Just gonna pop out some more missiles while we wait. Alrighty, let's see how we go with just shocking the railguns. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go for the railguns. Most of the railguns. I think there's too many railguns to just sit here and wait. So Let's go for a little bit of a pick here and there. And I might shock this area here. Now, if I get the dervish in, not the dervish. Um, fuck, I keep forgetting his name, the Devon. We all know the Devon actually has quite a fast heal time. Which, at this, on this base, we definitely want that. You can, you, you don't have to suicide him, but you can at least drop him down a little bit. I'm just going to go in now. I think I have enough. So I'm going to use them to get in the way and just essentially um, shock what I need to and tank the hits that I need. So you can still use old units. These old units, uh, well they're not obviously that old, not like fucking buggies and rhinos and <laughs> I need to hold up there. Gonna get it. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. I turned around for one second to look at my son and uh, took a railgun shot, which I should never have done there. Should that should not have happened. But all right, I like this idea. Um, if you're out of like, say, say for example, you've done your dervishes and your echoes are on heal, use this platoon. It's gonna work. It's gonna do wonders for you. It's going to be free repair, I reckon. If you just take that couple of seconds, or, you know, maybe 20 seconds to do that one shot from the hive, and the, uh, you know, leading with the Devon to absorb the damage, I think, I think this is going to be the way to go. You're going to, you're going to clear it with weight, like, free repair, and, yeah, but it's not the fastest way. I definitely know it's not the fastest way. Um... Definitely the airway that I posted that other time is definitely the fastest way. Dervishing in and then echoing in. It cleared it, it cleared it really quick. But you can only do probably maybe six, seven sets of um, challenge bases. This is definitely a good backup. So that's why I'm going to call this guy the backup <laughs> for uh, when you're out of air. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll make up something else. But there you go, guys. Hope you enjoy. Um, honestly, don't know what I'm going to buy next. Uh, I've... I've, um, what have I got? An EXP, I want EXP event. EXP. Ah, uh, see, I'm not doing that good, but I have been playing my smalls, getting them up. So I'm at 18.1 mil on my main, and I think that I've got everything that I need. Um, I'm still going to pump it out, because I want to get more build build tokens, because I want to get more Dopplers, and uh, probably more Dervishes as well. I might even just, like, if I get bored, I might just AFK and just... Um, do, do what I can. Maybe, maybe unlock more combos. Dervish plus the, uh, component, you know? Alright, hope you guys enjoy. Peace out, and stay safe. See you guys.